What's good? It's your girl Brianna Popeboy Princess. You already know what it is. PalTV.net. Yeah, it's PalTV.net. Birch, I'm, I came all the way to Miami to see this lovely young lady, yes. Brianna, the young rich bandit. Let me get a dollar, yo. <laughs> I can shoot you more. I can have more than a dollar by it. What's good? What's good? So, we out here in the studio. What you cooking up? What you cooking yeah. up for us? Face off. Face off. Face off. The mixtape. I don't even want to call it a mixtape. The prelude is dropping Christmas Day. The fans have been hitting me up every day on Twitter about it. And it's finally here Christmas. A little gift for the streets. Okay, so, is you, is just you on the mixtape? No features? No, no nothing? No, no. I have features. But you'll see what features I have Christmas Day. I went in the bag for this one. I called in the big homies, and they came, and they showed love for the face-off. Okay, so you recently got a, a big deal Yes. going on. Want we'll to talk about that? Yes, much love. Shout-out to Atlantic Records. Just inked the deal. I mean, it was all on Twitter. You know, shout-out to Mike Karen, Julie, Mike Kaiser, you know, everybody. And um, blessed situation with Atlantic Records. Okay, so you were pole boy. Yeah. Out here in Miami, it's like that's like the staple of <laughs> Miami rap. How how did yes. that whole situation um, happen? Like Po Boy has always, always, always been home. Um, the owners of Po Boy are like my family. So every day, like after school, going to the studio would be my after school care, and I would go and see you know people like Briscoe and Ross and different producers making tracks, people writing, and I just that's what I watched growing up. So I just started doing it, taking to it myself. And then it takes till I got a little older to notice that, you know what, this is a normal. Everybody else isn't doing that. And they noticed my passion for music, and they threw me in the booth and let me do my thing. And, you know, as time passed, you know, they was like, you know what, she for real about this. I had to show them that, you know, I had the passion, and I was dedicated to doing it. So I just fell in line with everybody else. So how's it feel to be the only female on that label? Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's like being being the only girl with like a, a ton of brothers. I love it. You know, it's always like extra care with my project. And I'm, when I'm recording, they stop in and give me little pointers while I'm recording. And they're always looking after me. And it's really like a family bond. And I love it. it the, the atmosphere is just so family oriented. It's real good. So they like protect you like a little sister kind yeah. of? They're, they're like, yeah. They're Four months super back, overprotective. You did like <laughs> some uh, some tribute to Little Kim or something like that? Yeah. It, she had a, her birthday party in, um, here down in Miami at Santos. And I went and I showed the Queen Bee love. And it was a great night. Like, a lot of people came out. And it was just fun. So how did it feel to meet one of the, the female greats? And oh, man. It's exhilarating. It was crazy. I was just, like, growing up, like, still in my mom's Lil' Kim CDs. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to them in my CD player. And just, you know, her whole flow and her whole swag on the track. And it's, it's so funny because she's so little. But she when she gets on track, she's like a beast, a monster. So... Just to finally meet her, it was um, it was crazy. on Twitter. Yeah, I'm a, I stalk you on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> like you between Trina all the time. Like, is she like a, a mentor to you as yeah. far as the rap game? Yeah, she she. I would definitely label her a mentor. Like, our bond is you know it goes beyond music. Uh, I, that was my first album that I was on was the Trina Diamond Princess album. We did Candy Girl, but my whole career, you know, she's always been you know shotgun just telling me little pointers and I can always go and talk to her about anything you know dealing with life and her just being a female in the game you know so so few females in the game so um just tell me like you know things that she had to go through or things that you know happened with her situation she looks out for me so that they don't happen with mine and just always being somebody that I could talk to a great friend and mentor I'll get a phone number <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you follow me on Twitter. I'm pretty sure you follow her too. You tweet her and you ask her number. Yeah, I interviewed her uh, Memorial Day. Yeah, she's such a sweetheart. I froze up though. I was a little punk. I was like, hey, Trina, up, I love oh, you. Man. Okay, go to my corner now. <laughs> <laughs> See, she is such a sweetheart. I'm such a sweetheart. Arrogant. Don't I look good?